The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour. As always, it doesn't matter where you're at as long as you're here and with me at the appointed time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have? Well, we're up a little bit uh, early expiration this month on the 14th. Of course, uh, closed on the 15th. That Friday, good good Friday, right? So, uh, or Easter weekend. So, going to be having a kind of a front-loaded market here. Options continue to be rather bearish from option market makers for that 14th, which is, what, uh, 10, 11 days from now. Um, <laughs> yeah, had a frog in my throat. Anyway, um... So everybody's kind of diving back in, kind of acting like uh, nothing happened last week. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, the amount of stocks that are lower uh, are is pretty horrific compared to the handful of uh, the usual suspects that are higher and holding the indexes higher. But uh, as far as I can tell, uh, we're still, uh, for the bulk of the market, uh, in a uh, distribution mode, and I think that goes on for a while. As I said, I'm pretty uh, bearish. Um, I'll take any opportunity uh, for bounces to add more to short positions uh, until the option market makers uh, tell me no, that I'm on the wrong side. But at the moment, uh, they're all there. So I don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, we've had kind of the easy part. Uh, in the market, and now we're getting to the part where I suspect is the long uh, extended sell-off. And we'll have days like this, but if we are in the bear market, I think, we'll probably see the Dow and the S&P uh, reverse pretty much everything that we've seen, maybe even into Friday in the next, uh, well, I'll say next trading day. By the time we talk tomorrow, probably going to get at least started. Wednesday is Delta Neutral Day, and then I'll get a much better read. Maybe uh, they'll tell me I'm all wet, but I don't think so. Uh, volume has been uh, incredibly light on rallies in the last few months, and that uh, kind of tells you what's going on. Uh, as I always quote the CBOE consolidated tape, we are just a hair under 7 billion shares. So this is a very light volume rally, and that started off early in the day. One of the reasons why we're probably kind of light uh, tends to be um, uh, tends to be uh, probably because there's almost no shorts in the market. There's, mm, I'm going to say we're probably pretty close, and I didn't do the numbers over the weekend, probably should have, but just eyeballing it, we're probably very close to some of the lowest levels of short selling. Uh, even into Friday, you couldn't get anybody to buy any huge amounts of downside in the market. By the end of the day, we were back down to some historical lows. That's generally not an indication that you're not going lower, uh, but it is a big indication that if you go lower, it is significantly lower. Um, so if this market starts to slide over the next two uh, couple of days, do not be surprised if we uh, blow out the lows from Friday uh, fairly succinctly. There are not many, if any, short sellers uh, that are going to be there to uh, slow the roll lower. We also have a, a fairly good amount of uh, uh, the Fed jawboning and moving and trying to hold the markets up. But, uh, hey, what can you say? 877-927-6648. And uh, what else do we have? Email me at path at tfnn.com. And what else do we have? 
That's some emails already. Uh, Repeat. Uh, What's my take on Tesla? Well, we have kind of two things, right, with Tesla. He went out and bought a big hunk of uh, Twitter. And my thought on this kind of all goes together. He wanted to be able to do what other big uh, uh, movers and shakers have done, which is own enough of a newspaper or a uh, outlet like a, a cable news station so that you can beat on your foes because they beat on you. And, of course, uh, we've got the uh, old CEO of uh, Amazon who owns uh, one of the Washington papers, so he can uh, influence the politicians. But uh, there's an old saying when I heard that uh, Elon had bought 9% of, of uh, Twitter today, and it did bounce fairly, fairly well. And that was, uh, you don't, uh, what was the quote? You don't get in a, uh, a fight with someone who buys ink by the barrel. And that was an old saying that went back before, of course, even television and radio. Uh, that uh, you are never going to win because uh, they're going to be there tomorrow beating you up if they want to, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Um, he wants, I, I, apparently, for a couple billion dollars, uh, you can get uh, the just one tick under control of uh, uh, the uh, amount of shares you need to to control Twitter. So I think at the moment what he's saying is, um, you know, all I have to do is buy one more percent. I bought nine. I buy one more percent. And a lot of people think you got to buy 51 percent of a uh, of a a a company stock to get control. Um, There have been people that really had control with less than five or six percent. They just happen to be the the biggest uh, whale. But, of course, in an Atlantic Ocean. Uh, But. you get the right things, and uh, especially people like to follow Musk. He's kind of a Pied Piper. Uh, he certainly could get it, and uh, I think he just wants a fair shake. He's tired of everybody uh, trying to censor him. I know how he feels. Uh, most people are like that. Uh, but I think uh, getting rid of the Deadwood over at Twitter and a lot of the, the folks that uh, I guess just missed all the history class of Stalinism and all the other kind of authoritarianism and book burnings by the Nazis. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, yeah, like I say, I think they, they all those folks just missed that part, the horrible part of totalitarianism and authoritarianism. But uh, maybe we'll have uh, one of these uh, places. I This is what I don't think will ever happen at... Uh, Facebook or Metamucil, whatever they're calling themselves today, because uh, you literally cannot throw him out. Even if he went to jail for murder and never could get out, you can't displace uh, Zuckerberg at uh, Metamucil unless he wants to go. He's always got 51 percent of controlling voting shares by himself. He doesn't even need his wife. So uh, not much you can do there. But uh, I think uh, Twitter may get a a free speech reprieve by Elon. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, a little more on Tesla. Um, last week, as it went sideways, uh, and even a couple of days before that, uh, about uh, one out of every three shares were shorted during the day. You don't know how many of those people covered. Uh, that's from the FINRA data. But uh, you can see that uh, as long as um, – probably the easiest rule is Tesla's not going lower as long as everybody's shorting it. And you had a little bit of a pullback out here. You don't have much in the way of volume here, but uh, Friday was the first day that they got under 20%. So one in five shares were shorted. Um, and, of course, uh, those folks uh, probably were sitting on it all week long, uh, and it really just went sideways. But uh, one of the best patterns for Tesla is when it goes up on light volume and people quit shorting it, you see, like, 12 or 13 percent, maybe 14 percent shorts for a handful of days. That pretty much tells you the shorts have given up. And uh, the light volume tells you the buyers have waned. And then you're ready for the next big ride on the uh, Tesla um, stock. What would you call it? Tesla? Eh, just the cult stock. That's uh, I never thought I'd see one that lasted this long. I still think it's worth about 40 or 80 bucks, uh, but uh, I do digress. Uh, the question is, when uh, does that last move start lower? And everybody's in love with it, I know, but uh, eh, the price you're paying today, you're buying the next 30 years of growth already baked in. And I don't think uh, any industrialized company is worth that. Uh, at the really margins that are probably rather dubious. But, uh, hey, everybody's got to have one of those kind of guys at the uh, in history during when you live uh, that is the Pied Piper. 877-927-6648. Uh, the other question in here is uh, Starbucks. Is what's going on with this one? Uh, it's got a lot of people in, uh, in uh, the stock market really mad they were pretty happy when uh they thought that schultz was coming back not exactly sure why they weren't happy with the last guy but uh he wasn't having none of it 
Um, and of course, uh, they got Schultz back, and I'm not too sure he didn't engineer uh, this comeback. Uh, but people forget why he was kicked out before, and he was kicked out, although they were very nice about it. And he was kicked out because he turned all the stars into hell holes where you couldn't go into the bathroom because of the needles. And, uh, and of course, uh, as the old, uh, the rather new, I wanted to say old saying, go woke, go broke. Uh, he was on the vanguard of uh, doing stupid stuff uh, when uh, you are investing other people's money. Uh, but he's back again, and, of course, the first thing he does is say no dividend. As I said last week, for all those people buying stocks that have dividends, if I am right on the market pulling back, and I, pro I think I'm 60% chance of being right, maybe 40% chance of being wrong, maybe more. But uh, I'd, I'd say at least uh, the coin flip would fall on the side of weakness in the market through the rest of the year. But uh, I do digress. Anyway, uh, on this, uh, just uh, the idea of cutting the dividend uh, and some kind of veiled, I wouldn't call it a threat, veiled innuendo that that money's all going to the baristas uh, at your local coffee shop. I'm not exactly sure how that works anyway. But uh, if you've got uh, stocks and you're counting on the dividend, uh, this is probably just the first of many uh, stocks over the next year, year and a half that you're going to see cut dividends. And why, uh, I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it was Stocks and Commodities uh, did a long-term survey of stocks uh, that people bought for dividends uh, in lean times. And uh, they almost all had two things. One, the dividend was cut and the stock price went much lower and they lost a bunch of money. Um, one of the worst long-term uh, plans is buying a stock uh, in a downturn because of dividends. 877-927-6648. Okay. I don't know what they're talking about here. Uh, SPR. I saw a very interesting article about the Strategic Petroleum Reserve this weekend that basically said that they weren't letting them put in roads so that they could get any of that oil out. <laughs> so maybe that's why we bounced right back up on oil today. I never believed much of it to begin with. Uh, to, to, to path at tfnn.com. So hopefully that answers the beginning of the questions out here today. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, anyway, yeah, I've, I think this is the beginning of Starbucks going lower. Uh, okay, got a couple of emails here. Anyway, we're up 25 points on the S&P cash. Dow's up 66. Nasdaq's up uh, 214. And uh, do we got more emails? Okay. I deserve the best. Okay, that sounds good. And what did I want to get here? Oh, that's what I wanted to get. It's a little history repeating. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1994, 19 years to the day after Microsoft was formed, Mark Andreessen and Jim Clark create the Mosaic Communications Corporation, which later will be renamed Netscape Communications. Andreessen had developed the Mosaic web browser while working at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois. I was in uh, a computer club with Mark Andreessen in 1990 there. And uh, he was a pretty sharp cookie. I don't remember a whole lot about him. Uh, the only good thing was that he uh, gave me an introduction to Jim Clark, uh, who uh, ran uh, SGI. And, of course, this is just a couple of years after uh, Jim Clark had, uh, 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 after, uh, uh, what was that movie that came out, the Dinosaur movie? I'll think about it. Uh, anyway, I'd been out uh, and uh, got an introduction and did a couple of summer sabbaticals uh, out at SGI. 
But, uh, eh, I met both gentlemen named in the above. Probably the most interesting thing is uh, I wanted to build a product for the, an SGI, which is a digital disc recorder. Uh, Jim Clark at the time, uh, this has got to be right around here, maybe 1995 or six, wanted to uh, do exactly what Microsoft did, which is license his operating system for other machines and sell the operating system. Uh, but uh, the board would have nothing to do with it. He set up yours and went to, uh, run, uh, along with Mark and Netscape, and uh, cashed in for about the third time in a Silicon Valley. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we uh, take a look at it, we'll go through the usual suspects that are actually holding... Uh, the index is up. You got Microsoft uh, up on extremely light volume. On Friday, you did 27 million shares. Today, you're just doing 13. Uh, this is going up right against resistance. You had one uh, close below the three by three. Maybe you get a, a close above it up here. You, the next close below it, my guess is where this thing is really going to start showing some weakness. Uh, Apple also uh, popping up a little bit higher. Uh, it has 
a base similar pattern. Uh, for those people that have uh, listened to the show for a long time, they know how much I love Joe DiNapoli's double repo pattern. That is uh, 10 to 15 days above a uh, three by three displaced moving average, a day or two below it, a day or two above it. The next move below it is the one where the big destruction comes. Uh, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on Apple. One close underneath it, a light volume pop, which gives you a, a much better indication that you're going to get that double repo pattern. And the double repo pattern is 10 to 15 days up uh, above uh, a three by three displace, which is a little faster than the nine day. Let's go ahead and show what the nine day looks like. Kind of the same thing. But uh, three by three, just a little bit quicker to react. Anyway, you had uh, Friday still closed, just a hair underneath it. Now you're back above it. But uh, again, Friday you had 78 million share, 79. Today you have about 50. So you're probably going to be a little light even in Apple. Um, so what else do we have out here? But a lot of these look similar in FLX. We'll see how some of the dogs uh, that haven't been doing much are doing uh and friday had 4.6 million shares with netflix today you may get that uh you're going to need something in the neighborhood of five to six probably more than six to get this thing uh to break above march 29th but you've got that uh to, to, to what else uh amd bought uh a uh, company that's kind of big for them uh, in the uh, server space. Uh, I think they only spent about $2 billion. It's kind of interesting that they were, I think, at about 113 pre-market, 112, something like that. Uh, they got, um, what's the low out here today? 107. Uh, and a little bit up off that, but uh, not a lot of love in there. Uh, NVIDIA was doing better. Again, let's take a look at this one. Um, now, they closed lower uh, on Friday. Well, actually, Thursday and Friday uh, than the uh, trend higher. Now, you just kind of hit that today and close back below it. I'd still like a close above this on NVIDIA and then a close back below. But we've got a lot of stocks that are in this pattern and why I'm fairly bearish out here. Uh, and my scan, I don't know, at about 1 o'clock showed uh, that uh, there's a lot of stocks that could, uh, again, a day or two higher, the next move back underneath that line generally races back down to where it all started. In this case, uh, for an NVIDIA, it'd be back down to 230. Uh, again, probably better stocks to short than Apple, Microsoft, and uh, NVIDIA, but uh, they do not look good. Uh, to to okay. What else do we have here? Uh, to okay. You know, most of these things are just consolidating. Uh, even some of the ones that are the strongest. Um, the kind of the pattern you have here that's developed in Kamiko, which is a couple of days of weakness, but light volume on it. For CCJ, you're down to three and a half million shares. Um, you almost into this candle from March 29th that had 7.3 million shares. So I think maybe just a little bit more. Uh, if you get down there with like two or three million, that's probably another good opportunity to take a uh, stab at it. Uh, gold, um, not exactly sure what's going on in it. Uh, it certainly from the charts should have broken out last week. It did not, it's up 12 bucks today. Uh, but uh, it's exactly what I dislike, uh, which is uh, Thursday and Friday should have been able to close significantly higher and move back up. This is actually a little bit of a danger zone. Uh, and uh, I would much rather pay a little bit more for gold knowing that it isn't at this level here where it is uh, problematic, let me put it that way. But uh, you were up uh, a little bit off the low on Friday. Um, I mean, the chart looked fairly good. 
and then nothing happened. And that's uh, I'm always worried about the dog that doesn't bark. If you get the uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes reference. Okay, so we looked at that, looked at that. Uh, question about Micron. It's up uh, a little bit earlier, a little bit stronger. Uh, as I said, most of these stocks uh, that I went through today at 1 o'clock were um, a little higher, not much volume, and look like they continue to find uh, weakness. Micron should be one of the strongest stocks out here today. It is not, and I think that's telling you something right there. Uh, okay. Did Tesla, Williams Sonoma, WSM. Okay. Um, well, you get right up to resistance. Again, another stock with fairly light volume. A couple of days ago, you had 2.4 million shares. You're doing about 745,000 shares. Uh, again, I think it, the easiest thing to say is that you're going to go back and test the high volume lows that we saw probably back on February 24th on a lot of these stocks. Uh, and maybe you get the lower volume there, and there I could make a, bear, uh, a bull case. But uh, there's so many of these stocks that need to come back and test it uh, that just having Microsoft and Apple and maybe Amazon up is not enough, which reminds me I didn't look at Amazon. Same thing with Amazon. You've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You've got two days below. you got today up on light volume, 1.5 million shares uh, compared to 3 million shares on the downside on the 31st. Um, if you do get another uh, close below that 3 by 3, which won't take much, over the next couple of days, that would be a double repo pattern too. And all of those double repo patterns suggest that it goes right back to where the whole thing started. In this case, that'd be about 2,800 on uh, Amazon. 877-927-6648. And see what else we have going on here. Yeah, I got you mail. You got mail, baby, yeah. I got mail. Man, how long does anybody even remember AOL anymore? Man, it just seems like it's so far away. We'll be back in a minute. We'll look at the SMA. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And we had somebody in the den bring this up. I probably haven't uh, talked about it on air in a while. I'm a big fan of the 3x3 three three displaced moving average. And the idea behind the three-day mo uh, th displaced moving average is it gives you a little bit of uh, an idea of where the market should be going if it follows its trajectory and gives you uh, numbers in advance uh, today of what you were looking for. And there's a uh, 7 by 5 and a uh, 25 by 5 that are pretty standard. But generally what you do is you take three days. So um, you take a three-day average and you put that three days into the future. So in this case, uh, 45, 46, 47, right, is going to be put out here. So you know that that three-day moving average is going to be 46, uh, three days ahead. Um, so that actually, you don't have to have those. So anyway, you put that uh, three days, so you average three days, you take that average and put it ahead three days, right? So this would be something like uh, 44, 45, and 46 for the average of those three days ahead. And... Uh, in the art of timing the trade charts, you'll see that this line goes forward into the right of today's date. And uh, if you go back out here and look, you'll see there it is, uh, 76.84 for the XLE for tomorrow. Uh, that's if we close here today. Uh, so uh, that would be for Tuesday. Wednesday at 77. And Thursday, it would be 76, uh, 83. But the whole point of this is to give you a ballistic curve of where this thing should be. And when we went back to the other uh, patterns uh, where everything had been going straight up, uh, it is three days, or excuse me, seven, 10 to 15 days, sometimes even longer, uh, above that line. So it just it's a straight parabolic move up, a couple days below it, a couple of days maybe above it, and then the next close below it is generally where the wheels fall off the wagon. But that's called a displaced moving average. Just means you take a, a average, mostly uh, the one I use is three by three, three days, put that average the last three days, put that three days into the future, and that's what that line is. It's predicting the future out here. It's kind of sideways. Oh, because the whole point was that someone wanted to look at the XLE, and then we'll look at the SMHs. But uh, uh, three by three is a good kind of short-term trend line, and it lets you know uh, in advance what you're looking for, uh, which is why I like it. Uh, two, two, two. And it's short. Doesn't, doesn't get you too far off in the weeds if you're wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, going sideways here with the XLE, I don't think there's much you can uh, say about it. I'm not, um, even with the SPR, as I said uh, at the, the beginning of the show, I saw some fairly 
interesting uh, uh, interviews about how even though they were going to open it up, they're not going to let anybody take the oil out. And I think uh, that word got around over the weekend, so we saw the pop back again. And, uh, you know, you can say you give an oil lease. If you don't give the permits, you still can't pull the oil. Even if you give the permits, if you don't let anybody drive a road in there so that they can get in there and get out of, at the oil, it doesn't matter. So you can play word games, but uh, there is a decided uh, uh, policy to make sure that we do not extend U.S. development of, uh, of uh, oil uh, production here in the United States and it hadn't changed on what even if it's already been produced and it's in the ground uh, down in Louisiana somewhere they're not letting them build the roads either so I would uh, say that you'd want to stay probably long energy and not surprised that it's up four bucks today after the uh, announcement that we were going to release a lot of oil that apparently we're not going to release uh, 877-927-6648 uh, we're going to uh, the other question was the SMHs. Um, you know, you're just back in kind of an inside day on Friday for the SMHs. Uh, I don't think anything gets better. As we talked last week, there's still a lot of shortages in production, but probably the worst part of it is that wafer shortage. Uh, they're saying that's going to continue throughout 2022, uh, or they think it will. And I don't see how that makes the SMHs any better. Um, if I wanted to go long or thought about going long, I'd want to at least retest the 250 gap we have uh, when this gapped up on the 16th of March with uh, 11 and a half million shares. You really haven't had much since then. You never really had a lot of follow through. You did have one day out here at a high with a kind of a doji that did roll off. So I'm just thinking that this probably comes back to 250. It's not the end of the world for the SMHs, but uh, it's not going higher either. Okay. Why we're in here was to take a look at uh, more usual suspects like AMAT. Uh, this one is kind of the pattern I was looking for in the SMHs. When you did gap up and you had some decent volume, just a little under 10 million shares, uh, you got into that though with 10 million shares on Friday. And it didn't do much. Today, you got a, a half-hearted bounce on about half the volume, but there's not much there. Uh, we already looked at Micron. Question about uh, PLTR. Did it finally break out of this downtrend? Da, da, da. Yeah, just kind of really. Uh, let's look at a little shorter version. You're really just coming up. Uh, to pretty severe resistance in this. The previous high on February 1st at 1382, or no, that one, 1437, excuse me, February 1st, had 70 million shares. You tried to get into that uh, high again February 16th on 58 million shares. Uh, today you're doing about half that, about 29 million shares. So when I'm saying that the volume is light today, it is light. Now, do they try to just hold this thing up for a day or two for fun buying? Yeah, it could be. And we're kind of pushing here a little bit now, but I don't think that there's much out here. And again, the volume continues to be wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Uh, okay. Not hefty, hefty, hefty. Okay. Okay, question about IBB. I mean, it slowly drifted up. Uh, again, you had about 4 million shares on the February 10th high that you're getting into today. Uh, you got about, uh, what, 2.2 million shares now. So there aren't a lot of people uh, knocking down the doors to get into these, just about everything. Uh, question about UNG. Take a quick look here. Keep them coming, path at tfnn.com. Uh, yes, uh, if if today was fun buying, it would today would be the last. Well, you get the first three days of the month and the last two. So you really had Monday, or I mean Friday being the first of those days. You may have tomorrow. Pretty much, be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. We return uh, G7 in the den points out also uh, some of these ETFs with light volume last time uh, we're into this candle uh, that popped up gapped up on 68 million shares on the 29th of March uh, that had 68 million shares today we're up on 32 so you know day's not over yet but it doesn't look promising out here and I am taking time to add to short positions, mostly with puts, today on some of the stuff that I like. Okay, what else do we have out here? Uh, take a quick look at one of the other ones, which is Workday. Um, yeah, that. Uh, thanks, John. That is also another one. Um, this one tried to go back through the March third high. That was two hundred fifty dollars. Uh, that had six point six million shares back then. Tried to hit it with uh, 2.3 million shares on March 29th. Uh, today, you're up on a million shares. So, yeah, when we look at these and especially uh, looking for any kind of close back below, um, problematic at best. So the bear case continues to get better, the bull case uh, weaker, especially uh, if this is fun buying, we should be having just an absolute ton of volume come in. It's been pretty light. Okay. Uh, Sally wants to know what I think about the TLT. Um, 
I thought we probably should have had a great deal better bounce than we did um, in to fill these gaps down, and we're not even getting much of that. Uh, the Fed at least is trying to take the sharp edges off of this market, I think, as it goes lower. But uh, yeah, a whole lot of nothing today, Nine, a little under 10 million shares. Um, at 23 and a half million shares on Friday. So it is a light volume day. A lot of these candles are on the inside. A lot of them are orbs. We'll be back in the